we're going to create one more report. Uh, this one is also going to be based on a query. So we're going to select review list, go into create, and choose report. And they would like us to kind of close this shutter temporarily because we do need to make some adjustments to this report. And you should be currently in layout view. You can tell because you've got the orange borders around everything. I guess we are going to be doing a little bit of editing. And they would like us to edit hire date. So we're going to click on the heading. And we're going to shift and click on the data below the heading because that'll highlight everything in that particular column. And then they would like us to move this. So pointing into that selected area, area your mouse should display with the four-headed arrow. That is the universal move symbol. And we are going to move this before the supervisor's first name. So let's left drag. And you're going to see kind of a heavy red border come with the mouse when it is before supervisor first name you can release and that column should be moved and they would like us to select the first name column heading it's actually a label and go into properties click on property sheet and they want us to adjust the width to 0.8 right now it is 2.6667 and we are going to highlight that and key in 0.8 now another method to change this would have been to shift and click on the data and then use the drag method that would work too but it's not as precise as opening up properties and typing the value uh, for the last name column, they want us to select our column heading. And then they want us to position on this border. And you're going to need to watch the lower left corner on this because they want this to be a certain number of lines and characters wide. So watch down here. And as we drag, you'll notice it's keeping the whole column in sync. They want the lines to be 1 and the characters to be 14. Okay, so that's an alternate way of modifying the width of your column. For the supervisor first name and last name, they want that drag method with the line set to 1 and the characters to 24. So for supervisor first name, Again, look in the lower left of your status bar. Line should be one, character should be 24. Do the same thing for the supervisor last name. And I'm going to close my property sheet. I really don't need to keep that open. And they would like us to change this to landscape orientation. So let's go into page setup and choose landscape that will ensure that we've got it all on one page they want us to edit the title so let's go back into design here and choose title and the title should be employee review list so i'm going to key the word employee at the beginning and I'm going to put a space between review and list and then I'm going to press enter for the logo they just plain want it gone <laughs> they don't want us to replace it with anything else so we're just going to select it and press the delete key on the keyboard and poof it is gone uh, then they want us to select the control that has the date and the time. 
and they want us to actually kind of resize this so it kind of lines up on the edge. So let's go ahead and do that. That may be a little bit too far. They want it all lined up nicely on the right hand side. And then we'll scroll down a little bit. They do not want the total below employee ID. And it is silly. Why would you count the number of employees? That's what this is. It's a count. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it. We're going to delete it. And then if we scroll down, you'll notice that there's kind of a remaining bar. So you need to click on that bar and delete that as well. And just scroll down to make sure that it is gone. And we are going to save this modified report as review list. And then we will click OK. And if you open up your shutter bar, you will notice now you have two reports. And to see how this would look printed, you do not need to actually print it. But if you go into Print Preview, you can see how this would look printed out. And then we can close Print Preview and close out of our report. And at this point, you are done with the database and you can close it.